वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर टुडे वी स्टडी द हीट ट्रांसफर इन द हॉलो सिलेंडर कंसीडर दिस इज द हॉलो सिलेंडर हैविंग रेडियस r1 इज द इनर रेडियस इट्स हैविंग द टेंपरेचर ti एंड आउटर रेडियस हैविंग द टेंपरेचर to एंड इट हैविंग द थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी k एंड q इज फ्लोइंग रेडियली आउटवर्ड इट हैविंग द लेंथ l according to the forest law of heat conduction that gives you q equal to minus ka dt by dx but here the flow of the heat is in the radial direction so in place of dx we put dr so our equation will be q equal to minus ka dt by dr but we know that surface area of the cylinder that will be 2 pi rl so we put 2 pi rl in place of a so our equation will be q equal to minus k 2 pi rl dt by dr now we move dr and r in the left hand side so our equation will be q dr by r equal to minus k 2 pi l d now integrating with the boundary condition first we understand the boundary condition the boundary conditions are at r equal to r1 t equal to ti means at a surface r1 we having the temperature ti at r equal to r2 t equal to to that means at a surface r2 we having the temperature to so integrating this q integrating dr by r from the r1 to r2 equal to minus k 2 pi l integrating dt from ti to to so that gives integration of 1 by r it's a log r we put the limit and get the value that q log r2 minus r1 equal to minus k 2 pi l to minus ti but we know that log a minus log b that will be log a by b means we put this form in this form so that will gives us q log e r2 upon r1 equal to we put minus sign inside the bracket that gives us k 2 pi l ti minus to now this log e r to upon r1 we move into r h side so that gives k 2 pi l ti minus to log e r to upon r1 now 2 pi k l we move in the denominator that gives q equal to ti minus to log e r to upon r1 upon 2 pi k l now this look equation look like ti minus to upon rth so our rth will be log e r2 upon r1 2 pi kl this called as thermal resistance of the hollow cylinder now we study the heat transfer in the hollow sphere the hollow sphere and the hollow cylinder having difference only in the area all the derivation remain same so look in this consider this is the hollow sphere having the internal diameter r1 at a temperature t1 and r2 outer diameter having temperature to it having the thermal conductivity k and q is the heat transfer from the radially outwards according to the forest law of heat conduction we know that q equal to minus ka dt by dx again here we having the radial flow for that reason we put dx equal to dr so that gives q equal to minus ka dt by dr but we know that surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square so area value we put in this equation that gives q equal to minus k 4 pi r square dt by dr now this dr and r square move on the left hand side that forms q dr upon r square equal to minus k 4 pi dt now integrating with the boundary condition so first understand the boundary condition that will boundary conditions are at r equal to r1 t equal to ti at r equal to r2 t equal to to so here r1 and having the temperature ti and r2 having the temperature to now integrating this q integrating dr upon r square from r1 to r2 equal to minus k 4 pi integrating dt from ti to to so that will gives us integration will be q 1 upon 
r minus sin with minus sin and r2 upon r1 is the limit minus k 4 pi t to and ti is the limit. So our equation will be q 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 equal to k this minus sign to get inside that forms ti minus to. So that will equal to q equal to k 4 pi ti minus to 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2. This portion we move on the right hand side. Now multiplication and the subtraction that will use r2 minus r1 r1 r2 that is a cross multiplication that forms 4 pi k ti minus to r2 minus r1 upon r1 r2 now this 4 pi k we move in the denominator that equation becomes ti minus to r2 minus r1 4 pi k r1 r2 this equation looks like this similar one so rt is equal to r2 minus r1 upon 4 pi k r1 r2 so this is the thermal resistance